recently, just the other day, Elon Musk decided, Elon Musk decided in his infinite wisdom to make the likes on Twitter private. Now, don't get me wrong. I was never somebody that went out of my way to check somebody's likes. But at certain points, if somebody was like, if there was a particular topic, like imagine the Drake, you know, the Drake dick pic, whatever thing leaked, right? Somebody probably didn't want to share it on their feed and they'll be like, oh my God, Drake's pictures leaked. Check my likes. So that would be the only time I would like use the whole like function on someone's profile. It's almost like their way of like having a public bookmark section type of thing, right? But I also didn't know that there were some people out there that were using people's likes as like recommendations. One example being Jay Versace, right? He's like a, he used to be a big on, on Vine. Um, he used to do skits and comedy stuff and whatever, maybe. But now he's like a full blown producer. He produces like loads of great stuff for like legit hip hop artists and stuff like West Side Gun and whatever, maybe. Um, but he's known to be a fan of, um, of pornographic material, let's say. And I didn't know until this like thing became private that people were using Jay Versace's likes as like a referral, as like a place to find like good links for porn on Twitter. So I guess that whole like thing is like a whole other world of Twitter that I wasn't really engaging with because again, I didn't really give a fuck. If anything, my main f function that I use likes for is almost like an approval thing. So somebody writes something back, just like it. If they write something about it, I agree, I like it. But then I use the bookmarks as something to say, like, you know, I use bookmarks as bookmarks, something to that I could kind of refer to later on if I want to read it later or want to cover in a pod, wherever it may be. But I guess some people are using likes differently. Or, of course, if you're a woman and you want to keep tabs on your guy, likes are really, really important, especially on Twitter, because you get to see what type of degeneracy your guy's getting up to. But I did notice myself, I'm not too sure if you guys noticed it, but yesterday or the day before, I did know, especially on my feed, I noticed, I think, an influx of selfies from, like, baddies. And again, you don't really get that a lot. If you use Twitter, you know what I mean. Twitter's not really the place for, like, oh, my God, look at my face. I'm a 10. You can't have me. It's not really that kind of place. It's usually a place where girls might show a full body picture or something, working out the bum shot, but you rarely get a, like, oh, my God, look how hot I am selfie. But I saw an influx. I saw almost an immediate influx of like selfies from all of these attractive women. And then I also happened to see that they were all being recommended to me because somebody else liked them. You know, they weren't really people that I was following. I was like, oh, this shit worked instantly. So I think the girls realized that this was going to be a good thing for them because your engagement, because I'd imagine if you're a hot girl, it might be a little bit annoying if you post a selfie of yourself on twitter v instagram because instagram is more of a like double tap place twitter is a bit like no one wants to be caught out because if you like something you're not meant to like and your partner goes on your profile you're gonna be in big trouble you're sleeping in the fucking doghouse or you're sleeping on the couch or you might have to fucking move home completely so you have to be fucking careful and move with caution but i think ever since the likes have become private and judging by this graph that elon Musk posted on his social media account it looks like people are now more free to like because they know their likes aren't public because uh, it, according to elon you can still see your own likes on your own profile but if somebody clicks on your profile they can't see your likes but then i think somebody did ask him and he said maybe it might be an option they might do in the future they might enable it as an option so you can toggle so you can have your likes displayed have them not displayed up to you kind of thing um but i think they do that also i think even on, on twitter you can decide to like toggle off your media or whatever it may be but it's been insane to see over the last day or so people now liking loads of like first traps you'd say and the girls responding and just bombarding the feed with fucking first traps and all the hot and all the quote unquote hot gay guys are also bombarding the feed I, i'm almost getting like an avalanche of just like attractive people just flooding my Insta my twitter profile which wasn't the case usually usually on twitter you get people like posting i don't know Attractive people can kind of get away with posting like lifestyle things. Oh, here's me in a car. Here's me in a beach. Here's me in Rio with my Brazilian t-shirt on. But rarely on Twitter does a whole like selfie thing work. But I've seen tons of selfies now. So I wonder, I'm curious, I'm curious, I'm curious. Will Instagram see this and also copy it? Because I don't really use my Instagram at all these days, apart from like checking DMs or whatnot. But I wonder if, because I noticed before I stopped using Instagram, I was using most of my stories. But I do notice whenever I do log back into my Instagram, the story section is always popping. There's always somebody posting something. I, I think the majority of people 
to, ooh, ooh, I said that weird. The majority of people post Instagram stories. So could Instagram improve their overall engagement if they removed public likes and just had it as a counter? Like, oh, you got 1,000 likes, but you couldn't see who liked the thing. Would that be a thing? Would that be a beneficial thing for Instagram? Will people then be more prone to liking more pictures and would they engage more with the content if they know that no one's going to see Agostino Zynga like this? Blah, 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 because that whole shit gets people in trouble. You know it does, right? Especially if you're married and shit and you're liking a post that you're not meant to like or liking a post that looks bad if you like it, maybe then that encourages it. So maybe this in a way isn't even a good thing as a feature. Maybe this just encourages adultery. Maybe like hiding likes is going to be one of those things that exponentially, you know, damages households, breaks up families because people are now going boop, 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 boop. And maybe we're going to reach a point where vindictive baddies are going to get back at people, guys especially, who pissed them off by posting their likes and be like, motherfucker, you oh, you calling me ugly, bitch. Well, you weren't calling me ugly uh, two weeks ago and they have a screenshot of like you liking their post and they can go through it and you see like a million of their posts. Like this person like 10 plus of your post. That might be a thing going forward. I don't really know, but I found it fascinating. Um, everybody's celebrating. I also found a meme on the other side really hilarious where people are basically saying that be careful what you like because Elon Musk is so temperamental. He could decide next week to change it and then suddenly all your likes become private. Right, because I think that's what happened to that feature called Circles. I think it's Circles. There was a feature on Twitter where you could basically post stuff, kind of like a private, mem pri kind of like a private feed for your close friends. And when that feature got removed, all of those posts were smashed onto your fucking main feed, and people had to like quickly, frantically delete them because a lot of them concluded nudes and you know other like finster type stuff, whatever it may be. Um, because I've noticed that too. Now that we use Twitter more, I've noticed people are are using Twitter more like a finster. So, you know, all of the kind of stuff that's on the cutting room floor that doesn't get posted on Instagram finds its way on Twitter, but it's usually the more like, oh my God, like fucked up shit that you probably don't want your work to see. So let's see what happens going forward. Let's see what happens going forward.